हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी लेट्स सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू डिटरमाइन द कोऑर्डिनेट्स ऑफ द सेंट्राइड ऑफ दिस ट्रेपेजॉइडल एरिया एंड इट इज सेड दैट फाइंड इट बाय डायरेक्ट इंटीग्रेशन मेथड राइट सो टू फाइंड द कोऑर्डिनेट्स ऑफ द सेंट्राइड ऑफ दिस ट्रेपेजॉइडल एरिया वी विल अप्लाई द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ मोमेंट इक्वेशंस राइट सो इफ आई राइट Uh, let's say that the centroid of this trapezoidal area is located somewhere here let's say the area is located uh, the centroid is located somewhere here right so this the distance of the centroid from the y axis is, is the coordinate is x bar right and this distance is y bar right so we have to find this x bar and y bar right so for x bar if we apply the principle of moment equation so then we can write that x bar is a, x bar into area will be equal to x c d a right so now to apply this equation we have to define uh, some differential area right so let me define that differential area so now let's say that this is this strip is our differential area right and let's say that the centroid of this differential area is located somewhere here right so now as we can see that uh, this side of the trapezoid has a slope of 0.3 and this side of the trapezoid has a slope of 0.6 right so uh, we can define an equation for this side of this trapezoid and we can find an equation for this side of the trapezoid right so let's say that this side of the trapezoid is a uh, y2 right that's is a y2 as a function of x right and this is the sl um, the equation of this side or this is uh, just a straight line right so let's say that we represent this uh, side of the trapezoid by y2 of x function and let's say that this is represented by by y1 of x function so now uh, since this is a straight line so we know the straight line equation right so we can write that y2 will be equal to m2x plus b1 right so this is the straight line equation and this is y2 as a function of x right so we can write only as y2 y2 and y1 are the function of x right so the uh, the y2 value varies uh, along the x as we move along the x right so we can write that y2 and m2 this is m2 the slope of this line is m2 right so m2 so we can write that this is 0.3x plus b1 b1 is the y intercept right so for y2 the y intercept is 5 right so we can write that this is 5 so 0.3x plus 5 similarly if we write the same equation for y1 so y1 will be equal to m1x plus this is b2 right so m1x plus b1 right so we can write that y1 and the slope of this line is 0.6 so this is our m1 right so i will write that this is 0.6x and the y intercept for this side of the trapezoid is 0 right so we will write that this is 0.6x plus 0 right so now i can write that y2 is 0.3x plus 5 and this is 0.6x right so now if we put x equal to 0 in this y2 so 0.3 into 0 so we will give uh, th this equation will give us 5 right so when x is equal to 0 y2 value is 5 uh, right and when x value is 5 uh, let's say when x value is 5 so this will be 1.5 plus 5 so this will be 6.5 right so Uh, when x is equal to 5 we will be here right and here the y value will be the here y2 value will be 6.5 right so this whole edge of the trapezoid is represented by this equation right so this y2 is 0.3x plus 5 and this is y1 equals to 0.6x so now if this is our differential area right so then we can say that this the height of this differential area this will be defined by this will be y2 minus y1 right and then we can say that uh, da will be equal to y this this dimension this height this is y2 minus y1 
multiply by this thickness of this differential element so this thickness is dx right so we can write that this is dx so this is dA is y2 minus y1 into dx right so we can find y2 minus y1 so if I subtract y1 from this y2 equation this is 0.6x right so if we subtract this so this is plus minus right so this is y2 minus y1 so 0.3 minus 0.6 so this is minus 0.3x and 5 minus 0 is 5 so y2 minus 1 is 0.3x plus 5 right so I can write that this dA will be equal to minus 0.3x plus 5 dx right so now in this equation one first we need to find the area right so if we integrate both side of this equation right so this will give us the total area right since we will sum all the areas of the differential element along the x-axis is right so if we integrate this from the x limits are from 0 to 5 so this will give us the area of uh, this trapezoid right so we can write that area so if we integrate this so this will be minus 0 0.3 x square divided by 2 and this will be plus 5 x and this will be from 0 to 5 So if we put these limits in this equation, so this will be minus 0 0.35 square divided by 2 plus 5 into 5, right, and minus 0. So we can find this area. So this is minus 0 0.3 into 5 squared divided by 2 plus 5 into 5. So this is 25, right, so this is 25. So the area, this trapezoidal area is equal to 21.25 unit square, right? So this is 21.25, right? So this is that area. So now let me write that the area of this trapezoid is 21.25 unit square, right? Now if we apply this equation, right, so then uh, we can right so this will be we can write that this will be x bar and area is this right so we know area so this is 21.25 so let me write it as a and xc is the distance of the centroid of the differential element from the y-axis right so this is the this is the xc distance right so we can say that this is xc coordinate of the centroid of this differential element right so as we can see that this xc will be equal to x right since um, we move this differential element along this x so the centroid will be located at a distance x from the y axis right so we can say that xc is equal to x and da is this thing right so i can write that this is y2 minus y1 into dx and as we have determined that y2 minus 1 is y2 minus y1 is minus 0.3x plus 5 right so I can write it here as well right so we can write that this is minus 0 0.3 x plus 5 and we can write that this is y2 minus y1 right so now if we multiply this so this will be minus 0 0.3 x square plus 5 x integration is with respect to x and it is from 0 to 5 so now if we integrate this so this will be minus 0 0.3 x cube divided by 3 plus 5 x square divided by 2 and this is from 0 to 5 right so now if i put uh, in these limits so this is minus uh, 0 0.35 to the power 3 so this is 3 now and this is divided by 3 as well and we can write that this is uh, 5 divided by 2 is 2.5 into 2.5 into 5 square so this gives us 50 right so when we put uh, x equals to 5 in this equation so this is 50 and when we put x equal to 0 so this will be 50 minus 0 so we will get it as 50 right so this is x bar a so x bar will be equal to 50 divided by a 
and area is this we have determined this so this is 21.25 so this is 21.25 right so answer divided by 21.25 so this is 2.35 right so the x bar coordinate is 2.35 units right since the units are not specified here right so it is 2.35 units so now if we want to find the y bar coordinate of the centroid of this trapezoidal area so again i will write the y bar equation so we will write that y bar into area and this will be this time this will be y c d a right and i can write that d a is this thing right so we can write that this is y2 minus y1 into dx right and now yc is the distance of the of this centroid of this differential element from the x axis is right so this length let me uh, define that length so this length is yc this length is yc right so now if we look into this yc so then we can divide this yc into two parts right so we can say that this length right this length will be equal to the half of this y2 minus y1 right so we can write this y2 minus y1 divided by 2 right and this height the remaining this height will be equal to y1 right whichever value of y1 is at this particular point that will be we can write that this is y1 so yc we can write that yc will be equal to this y1 this height the value of this uh, function right so if let's say that somewhere here is the x value is let's say 1 1 units so then y1 will be 0.6 into 1 so y1 will be 0.6 right and then this value this distance will be the half of the height of this differential element right so at x is equal to 1 y2 value will be 0.3 plus 5 so that will be 5.3 and y y1 value is 0.6 right so 5.3 minus 5.6 divided by 2 will be the height of the differential element at x is equal to 1 right but in generalized form we can say that yc will be equal to y1 plus y2 minus y1 divided by 2 so now if we take lcm so this will be 2 and this will be 2 y1 plus y2 minus y1 so this will be y1 plus y2 divided by 2 so this is yc right this is the uh, distance of the centroid of the differential element from the x axis so this is y1 plus y2 divided by 2 right so now i can write here that yc is y1 plus y2 or we can say that this is y2 plus y1 we can write it in this form as well right so this is y2 plus y1 this is y2 minus y1 this is divided by 2 this is dx right or we can write this uh, 1 divided by 2 outside of the integration and we can combine both of these so this is 1 divided by 2 and this is uh, x plus y into x minus y formula so this will become y2 square minus y1 square into dx so first i will find this uh, y2 square minus y1 right so we know that y2 is 0.3x plus 5 right so let me write that y2 square so this is 0.3x plus 5 so we will take square of this right so this will be equal to and this is a plus b formula right so a plus b square so this is 0.3x square plus point, uh, 2 into 0.3x into 5 right and plus 5 5 square so this is 25 so this will give us a 0.3 square is 0 0.09 i guess so this is 0 0.09 so 0 0.09 x square and this is 2 into 5 is 10 and 10 into 0 0.3 is uh, 3 so this is 3x plus 25 
Similarly, we can write that y1 square. So y1 is the y1 equation is 0.6. So this is 0.6x. So 0.6. So this is 0.36, right? So 0.36x square, right? So now if we subtract this is y2 square right so if i subtract uh, y1 square from this equation right so this is y2 square and this is y1 right so we can write that is 0.09 x square plus 3x plus 25 minus 0.3 x 0.36 x square this is y2, y2 square and this is y1, right? So we can write that y2 square minus y1 square. So we will subtract this, uh, the coefficient of x square, right? So 0 0.09 minus 0 0.36. So this is minus 0 0.27. So minus 0 0.27 x square plus 3x plus 25, right? So this is this is y2 square minus y1 square so now we can write that this is 1 divided by 2 and y2 minus y1 square is this thing right so i will write that this is minus 0 0.27 x square plus 3x plus 25 into dx right so now if i integrate this this is 1 divided by 2 and since the integration is with respect to x so the x limit is are from 0 to 5 right so we have to integrate this from 0 to 5 right so if i integrate this so this is minus 0 0.27 x cube divided by 3 plus 3 x square divided by 2 plus 25 x and this is from 0 to 3 right so now if I put the, uh, this is from 0 to 5, right? So now if I put these limits, so we will get this as a, let me write it as 1 divided by 2 into minus 0 0.27 into 5 to the power 3 divided by 3 plus 3 divided by 2 is 1.5. So I will write 1.5 into 5 square plus 25 into right so this gives us 75.625 75.625 and if we put x equal to 0 in this equation so everything will become 0 right so we will be left with this 75.625 and this is y bar into area uh, if you want to find y bar so we have to divide it by area and area is again this thing this is 21.25 so I will write this as 21.25 so we have to divide the answer divided by 21.25 so this is 33.56 right so y bar is equal to 3.56 units right so this is x bar and this is y bar so i hope you people would have understood this solution kindly like my videos if they help in your learning